Hello, Andrew Eifert here, just doing a video on the sound of the Carvin BX700. I've already done a video of this thing with all the features, so I'm not really going to get into too much of that in this. Obviously, I will have to mention a few things as I go through it, but uh, let's just go for there. Let's just hear how this thing sounds. Uh, just a quick overview, though. Probably the best thing about this amp that I really like other than, of course, I think it sounds really good, is this thing only weighs a little under six pounds. I can't emphasize that enough in transporting this thing around, you know, especially after transporting this cabinet, this Mesa Boogie cabinet is ridiculously heavy. And it's, it's just, and it's not, it's not so heavy I can't lift it, it's just very cumbersome. I have a hard time carrying it out of my basement. So when it comes to this amp head only being six pounds, or a little, it's a little, actually it's under six pounds, it makes moving my rig just really easy. The only downside about this amplifier, lately it has a little bit of a hum, which I hope is not too annoying to you listeners out there. But let's get into the sound of this. Uh, let's start with what I feel are the two main drivers of tone on that, and that's the drive channel and the contour. I think it does a lot to really tweak the tone after you found your, you know, treble and bass settings and all out and between. This really, these two knobs really do a lot to tweak that and just get the sweet spot, I think. I'll turn it on right now. This is with the drive off, and I hope you can tell the difference. Just some single notes. Now when I turn on the drive, it definitely increases the volume and it really is it really is pushing the preamp a little bit. And it adds a slight bit of distortion to the thing. That I, you know, I don't know if you can will be able to hear it, but it's, you know, it goes away from that clean sound and it gives I don't know, it gives a good rock and roll tone, I think. So let's hear it. So, this is about halfway. Anyway, so I, I hope you can tell it. it, it it definitely adds a little presence, a little distortion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's go into the contour now. This is with it off. Turn the contour all the way up to see the, the difference there. kind of see it almost like it has like a muffling effect but it's definitely adding some tone and tweaking the, the problem with it is you probably have to turn up a little more volume to to really see now let's turn the contour 
contour down to half. mentioned in previous videos this amplifier has two preamps one's tube and one is a uh, is a solid state of course right now I right now it's in it's in the solids it's in the tube mode which is what you've been hearing here it is in the solid state subtle. I imagine if it works like the Harky amplifier, if one preamp goes south on you, the other one will still work, which certainly helps you out in a gig situation if, you know, if you ever were to have a malfunction with your amplifier. But both of them sound pretty good, and, you know, so it's you probably wouldn't notice a huge difference in sound unless, of course, you're playing really loud. Uh, now, this amplifier also has this graphic EQ, and this button right here triggers it, enables it, or takes it out. There is a foot switch that comes with this that you can adjust that with. Uh, I do not have that foot switch, so I can't demonstrate. So I'll have to do it manually. Anyway. Here it is with it in, I believe. some sort of slap bass situation I think the graphic EQ really helps you so I could see having the foot switch and pumping it on with you know when you're doing a bass solo and it also adds maybe a little bit of volume too which would help uh, these semi parametric EQs just that one adjustment and they really work very well as far as tweaking in your tone like I said there's basic there's two sides of this there's tweaking in your tone using you know bass treble these things and or you just have the EQ unfortunately there's not a mode where really both of them come into play but uh you know, it kind of gives you like a two-sided amplifier, two different tone settings. Anyway, I'm making this video because these things come up for market on the used market occasionally because as I hope you know that 
Carbon is no longer making any amplifiers or speakers or anything anymore, as far as I know. All they're doing is selling off the stock that they had already previously made, if there is anything still available. So you can't get these anymore. And they come up for sale occasionally. I would say if you're right now, if you're seeing anything over 300 bucks, don't buy it because I'm seeing these things for under 300 bucks all day long. I bought this one brand new years ago and I haven't had any problems with it really other than this recent hum that's happening. But you know, it's probably just a bad uh, tube or something. I'll have to look into that or maybe even a bad plug here. But anyway, you know, I just deal with it at this point. Anyway, Andrew Eifert signing off. Please hit the subscription button if you think this is helpful. Uh, it will really definitely help me out in the future if you do. And hit the like button. Anyway, Andrew Eifert signing off.